one day we had a new guard. I, uh, I told him, I said, I, uh, I have to go. He said, where are you going? Richard said, I, I got to go to the doctor. I'm a diabetic. I got to get my insulin shot. But he said, I, I'm a trustee. I can, I can go. No, I, I got to escort you. He tried everything in his world to get rid of that guard, okay? Couldn't do it. He brought him down there to the uh, doctor's office and walked him in. He said, What's, what can I do for him? He said, well, Doc, that's a great, he, he's a diabetic. He needs an insulin shot. He goes, he's a what? <laughs> he says, I don't give him no insulin shots. The guard kind of looked at Richard. Richard said, oh, there must be a new doctor or something. I don't know, you know. He said, where you work at, son? He, he kind of looked at him real close. And finally, he got to put a light in his eyes. He said, where'd you work at? And the guard said, he works in a shoe factory. He said, this boy been sniffing glue. <laughs> Richard said, that's how he got his high for three months. And he said, boy, after that, it hit tough to break off of that, that, uh, that uh, uh, dope addiction. But I laughed. I mean, the way he told it, he passed away a couple years ago. But he was a character, man. He was a character. Boy, he was a character. I, I, I like training under him. I love training under him. Be careful when you walk across that threshold right there. This was a longer area where you kept your towels, your sheets, or whatever. Then if you need to use a facility, this is where you went to the restroom, uh, or to the bath, or whatever, down to here. You, just, you left, like I said, on, on the left side, you had no, no facilities. The right side, you did. This is a library. It's awesome. on the outside of the window. Well, Richard was telling me, after he got thrown out of the shoe factory, he worked for the librarian for a while. Her, her desk was right here at this doorway, and what she would do, she would take her lunch and her breaks, she would jump on, get one step, open the window, and go outside on the front porch. And, and I mean, look at the view she had. These Italian cypresses were probably only four or five feet tall at the time. But she could, she had, it was just, just fabulous view. <clears throat> but anyway, we had a problem that everything was falling down here uh, from the dry rot. So we, we took, we stripped it, this wall, and look what we discovered behind a wall. It's a set of cherry wood pocket doors. This is what it led to. It led into the library next door here, okay? But they're so heavy. They didn't take them down. They just put a false wall on them. We, to this day, don't know if some of there are more false walls around here yet. You know, we have no idea. Is the library still on the other side? Yeah, yeah. You, you'll see it here. But the library, to me, is probably the worst room uh, for, for damage than, than even downstairs. It really is bad. But it was beautiful. When the library retired in 40, 45, Leanne? 19. 1940, she had 4,500 or 5,000 books and magazines for her boys. Mm. Yeah, she had a lot. She had a lot. Yeah. yeah. Nice doors. Yeah. <laughs> nice doors.
days at home, man, we remember playing on the floor here with our little toys. And it, was, it, was, it, was, it was pretty nice. This is the only piece of ceramic tile we have left on uh, the hearts of the fireplaces. As you can see, they tried to chip it up, and they broke it off in here in this one corner, so they just left it intact. But you can see the, uh, uh, how they ripped the mantles right off. And being the fireplaces are so shallow, as you can see, the original uh, source of heat when the castle first opened was coal. They burned coal. Coal does not need a big opening or a big draw. So in, in, 18, in 1889, they went from the, from the fireplaces to the steam radiators right here. Okay? This young man looking out this window right here, probably trying to figure out what the heck this big contraption is. Okay? This is actually, you get a better view when you go outside. This window is pretty dirty. This is a fire escape. This is the only, this is the second original water driven device in the state of California, still intact yet. This is a spiral metal slide fire escape connected to the 400 gallon water tank. If there was ever a fire, this was never used. Never, they never, never used it. They go all the way up to, to the top. What they would do if there was a fire here on the, on, on the second floor, they would open this window, go in there, get in that slide, shut this door. There's a pull chain above it. They would pull that chain and would release 100 gallons of water from that tank up there. They would spin you out like this. The bad thing is, you're about 15 feet before you hit the ground. And you better hope to God the other doors down below were open. Otherwise, you're stuck in there. Well, it was never used. I wanted to come when I came here in 2006 after I got to know a little bit of stuff. I wanted to get up to the top, just get in it and just slide down. And I, they wouldn't even let me do that because there's no water. Mm -hmm. But anyway, what happened is a bunch of kids got in down below. They broke up, came up, broke this window out here, vandalized it. Well, as you can see here, they vandalized it, put stuff all over the walls. Uh, behind the clock. They brought this clock in to hide this wall here. So they welded the door shut. But you'll get a better, better view of it. It looks like an incinerator is what it basically looks like, but it's not. It's a fire escape. Was there a lot of fire here destroyed? They, they destroyed it. <laughs> the boys lit the uh, uh, elevator on fire. <laughs> they were down in the basement in the control room and they heard, they heard, they heard the superintendent getting in the elevator, so they lit a fire. They said, we'll fix that sucker. He's coming down. We're going to burn him up. He made it. He went up instead of down. But the third floor uh, had a fire. I made a fire on it. Uh, did a lot of damage. But the boys built it. They, they rebuilt it back up. Yeah. Any other questions?
section in there about Murrah. Murrah came here in 1955. I mean, 1953. He came from Bakersfield, California, because he escaped the facility in Bakersfield six times. He had a eight-year sentence.